Work student also used to get out of more than per month. Damn, wow. Uh, plan well for your course. So think well, research well. Sure. SOP plays a big role. You have to explain yourself. Munich, yeah. Bavarian region, Cologne, Düsseldorf, Berlin as well. Right. All right, guys, so I'm at the moment in Giesen sitting here with two students. They are currently doing their master's in insect biotechnology. biotechnology. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the course details, admission process a little bit. What doors can I open after completing this master's program? But before I go into the details of those, like how about we do a quick 30 second introduction of both of you? I'm Abhinia. Uh, I've completed a BTEC in biotechnology. I have a work experience of four years in Merck Life Science. I'm doing inside biotechnology. I'm in my fourth semester. And, uh, and how much did you score? I scored around 82%. And it's been how long that you're here now in Germany? In more than two years. Yeah, my name is Sriniti. I have done my bachelor's in sericulture mm -hmm. uh, in Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. I had 90% score. I have interest in studying about insects. So right. It's been how long that you're here? It's been two years. In your classroom, how many Indian students are there? Around 30. Okay. Yeah. And you both are classmates, yeah. batchmates. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit about what are the prerequisites to enter this program? Generally, what do they look for? Each degrees like agriculture, biotechnology and for our course, it will be more. I mean, students are from pharmaceutical background and biochemistry, BSc biotechnology, like that. Did you guys give any GRE no. for this program? No. no, right? It's not no, required. It's not required for this course. In terms of your specializations of program, in this program, what are they? Like, uh, what can I specialize myself into? If you are interested in insects, so there's a lot of op opportunities in entomology and there are so many modules which are uh, into chemical engineering and pharmaceutical as well. Since you're from natural science background, in India, when you were doing your bachelor's, did you do any like uh, research papers, publishing of those? No, I did my bachelor project in Silkworm Gene Engineering like that. And after that, I have done my internship in one private laboratory. I did internship in DRDO and IAC and I was working for Merck as well. So for You're four years. You're a pretty good profile like in, in the sense like because you've worked with such a big brands already. Yeah, yeah. So as somebody who has seen so much and worked in India as well, how do you find industries performing in India and compared to Germany? I mean, German industry, it's way different than the working pattern in India. So here, people are more punctual, straightforward. And, uh, you know, Indians, we work extra hours there and all that. But here, it's they have a SOP and they have a particular way of working, which is way different. You're doing some sort of, sort of a job or you have done some job I've here? done as a work student in Merck. I was working as a work student in a CMO lab. I was doing a little of protein purification and reading those protein purification and all that. And what's the future goal now? Like So I want to get back to the industry industry so, yeah. doing what uh, doing my masters after masters after masters i want to get back do? to the i want to get back to the industries i mean any pharmaceutical industry like do you have any areas which specifically you are looking something for? related to molecular biology and genomics and protein because my work experience was, was based on that i just wanted to enhance my knowledge and get back to the industry and have you met someone who is performing like currently doing a full-time job in this field yeah a few of my seniors and most of my seniors are into phd doing research and all that. there are a lot of research institute even in Giesen and around Gisu. A lot of them are doing a PhD. And what kind of salary expectation you will have from industry now? Okay, it depends on the company. If it's a very yeah. like Merck, all is paying very well. Of so course. they are paying around, I mean, as a work student also, I used to get around more than 1,500 per month. Damn, wow. Uh, they pay really well. So somewhere around 70,000. For a life, a life science student, it's a huge amount. For, as a fresher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there are a lot of pharmaceutical company and other in uh, Munich as they pay fair enough. But it's a good start. But you are saying that you would ask at least between the window of 60, 70? Yeah, 60, 70. Okay. Do you guys know some names of companies who are performing good in this? Right now, Johnson & Johnson, Roche, Merck, and there is Sagittarius, everything, yeah, everything, everyone is doing so good now. And within Germany, geographically, where are they mostly located? In Munich, in yeah. Bavarian region, Cologne, Düsseldorf, Berlin as well. Right. Can you talk a little bit about what is the admission process like for this course? Is yeah, it by UniAssist? Yeah, it's done by UniAssist. Okay. And How many <laughs> universities you got accepted? For three universities and I got acceptance in three universities. Wow. What do you think like you did right that you got accepted uh, in I all three? I don't know. My I wrote my SOP. SOP. I explained myself and about my interests and all. I just got into. And you think like getting into public university, SOP plays a big yeah, huge SOP role? Yeah, SOP plays a big role. You have to explain yourself. You need to have future idea as mm -hmm. well. Even though you're not sure about it, but at least you have some idea about your future while writing your SOP. Currently, your area of interest in your study 
studies is building towards what building towards gene engineering molecular techniques like that because right now i'm working as a research assistant in one uh, fran offer you know that right, right. Uh, yeah so you are clear like she wants to go into industry you want to go into yeah. a phd okay and what does it take to get into phd have you done some research on that already or not i mean i'm planning to get into phd on my own project itself mm-hmm. right now they are working on silicon genes i'm planning to get into that project but i'm not sure of does your career pathway from masters leads to phd and then postdoc as well okay yeah, of course so you've got like a good window of what can i say 7 years or 5 years Maybe ahead of more you than more than 7 years more than that more than 7 years a decade years. yeah okay okay and you find germany to be a right destination for your field or mm. you think like france is also doing a good job in the space mm. or yeah. no nordic countries are doing a good job for me germany is right option there are a lot of uh, headquarters i mean a lot of company as a startup here the bigger ones also has they all have a start i mean they have a site on sites here so uh-huh. uh, but there are also many companies in ireland and france germany is also one of the best for pharmaceutical like, yeah. top countries right right when you look at the entire europe germany would be on top or? germany would be on top who would be and the second country second country? would be france ireland and netherlands and even in belgium and few are coming up in switzerland as well technically what you're saying is you're not just limited to uh, germany. germany yes you we can have we have lot of opportunities and we can explore what do you guys have to say to those students who are watching us and want to make build their career in this field i mean it's always good to learn uh, german before coming here so is there a need it's not a need but it's an add on mm. because yeah, i mean if you're going to a company as well if you're working you find german colleague and it'll be very i mean it will be interactive if you know the language right and all the people do speak english it's an add on have a proper sop and if you apply to the right way i would get it and would you say like pathway for a student who wants to go into industry versus somebody who wants to go into phd are they two very different world altogether yeah they are two different worlds so you're it's two different you're working very differently on your profile than yeah. what you're doing right yeah, now yeah what is she doing so yeah. yours is more of academic yeah. research work and yours is more exposing in the industry in, in what's industry. happening it's a bit difficult to get in an industry yeah? yeah yeah and because we have a lot of research institute here exactly. around so it's way little easier to get into a phd than industry that's okay. what is my perspective what's your last thought and then we'll end the video plan well for your course before applying to germany read out the structure of the program that you could get an idea about the course and your future plans so think well research well the and are you happy and satisfied with what you're studying right now yeah very happy okay and as far as i know while coming to the food industry i mean in after 5 to 10 years insect will be the source of food products so i think insect biotechnology course has many scope all right guys so that's all what we have make sure that you check the description of this video also when you are designing the university list check the course curriculum and the subjects what they have they have to be aligned very well with what your career goals are we have two different profiles sitting here one is interested in industry one clearly wants to go into research and phd if you have any questions related to the course reach out to the university program coordinators directly they are the right people to answer your questions having said that if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and i will see you guys next time bye bye